This is a demonstration of an APU auto shutdown as a result of high EGT. The aircraft has left the runway and the APU needs to be started. Select the APU master switch to initiate the start cycle. Now select the APU start switch. You hear the chime and see the master caution. Extinguish the master caution. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. The ECAM APU page is automatically displayed. The ECAM caution APU auto shutdown appears amber to indicate that the APU has initiated an automatic shutdown. In this example, the EGT has exceeded the maximum limit. Notice the red EGT indication on the ECAM APU page. On the APU control panel, the fault light is eliminated on the master switch. This provides a cross-check of the ECAM and locates the push button to be activated in the procedure. The APU has completed its automatic shutdown. An automatic shutdown can also occur for other reasons, for example, overspeed, slow start, low oil pressure, etc. Now perform ECAM action. Turn off the APU master switch. Note that the blue on light in the master switch and the flap open indication on the ECAM have disappeared, indicating that the APU is fully shut down. The abnormal procedure is complete. After review and confirmation, clear APU. The status page is displayed. The inoperative system is the APU. After review and confirmation, clear status. ECAM complete screens normal. The status reminder is displayed on the engine warning display. Note. Automatic shutdown protection is available throughout the flight. Let's now look at a situation which is similar to an APU auto shutdown, but more critical, the APU emergency shutdown. If an APU fire is detected on the ground, an APU emergency shutdown occurs and the APU fire extinguisher bottle is automatically discharged. There is no crew action to be taken. This will not happen in flight. The crew must shut down the APU and fight an airborne APU fire. An APU emergency shutdown also occurs when the APU shutoff push button on the external power panel is pressed, or when the APU fire push button on the fire panel is pressed. However, in neither case is the fire bottle automatically discharged. On the ground, an auto shutdown when APU parameters are exceeded. An emergency shutdown with automatic extinguishing occurs if an APU fire is detected. In flight, an auto shutdown will occur for the same reasons as on the ground. If an APU fire occurs, the crew must take action. There is no automatic shutdown or extinguishing. The APU emergency shutdown procedure is displayed at the end of the APU fire procedure. There are several other indications that could appear on the APU ECAM page. The low oil level advisory pulses in green if the APU oil quantity approaches its minimum value. Note, minimum quantity allows normal APU operation for an additional 60 hours.
When starting the APU, the fuel low pressure indication appears in amber when an APU fuel low pressure is detected. Note, even though this message is in amber, it is an advisory.